Hi everyone, welcome to another Bind Tuning webinar. Uh, this time we'll, we'll talk about collecting bitcoins. Uh, I hope everyone is hearing us. If not, please comment and share with us. I'm Claudia Pereira and I'm here with Tito. Hello everyone. So these webinars are free, ongoing and always updated. They will be available online on our YouTube channel. If you want to go to youtube.com slash pineskins or on our website in the webinar sections. You should interact with us on the comments section and using the Bind Your New Webinar hashtag. For the agenda, we'll have first Bitcoin, second wallets, third collecting bitcoins and fourth buying with bitcoins. So our expert for today is T2. T2 has been with Bind Tuning almost a year now. He's a, a rowing uh, athlete for the Portuguese national team for three years um, and he loves what he do at Bind Tuning. So Tito will pick it up now. Well, hi everyone, again. My name is Tito, like Claudia present me. And before I start talking about Bitcoins, I want to tell you something. I'm a curious about Bitcoin and I know Bitcoin is here to stay. So at this webinar, I will tell you the simple things to become a beginner in Bitcoin's world. <clears throat> okay, so what is a Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin is a digital currency and payment system which came to the, mo to the most popular digital coin nowadays. Probably you know it. It's the first decentralized peer-to-peer -peer payment network that is powered by its users with no central authority or middleman. Bitcoin is based on computer-generated algorithms that involve cryptography for security. Bitcoins appear in 2009, I think, invented by someone named Satoshi Nakamoto. Probably that name is encrypted to hide the person's real name. After that quickly introduction to Bitcoin, let's see how to start collecting the first Bitcoins. First of all, you must have a wallet. It's the most important part. And not the type of wallet, you need a virtual wallet. A wallet allows you to transact with other users. It gives you ownership of a Bitcoin balance to, so that you can send and receive Bitcoins. But where do you get a wallet and what kind of wallets exist? If you don't have one, there are three ways to get one, namely web wallets, desktop wallets, or mobile wallets. Let's start to web, web wallets. Web wallets are online wallets to host your digital coins, bitcoins, and often offer additional service, like send or receive bitcoins. Some available web wallets is blockchain, you can look for blockchain.info, bitgo, bitgo.com or green address and you can URL greenaddress.it. Now, desktop wallets. The most secure option is in fact a software installed on your computer. It gives you complete control over your wallet and also you are responsible for protecting your money and doing backups. You must do it backups. You can easily send money and manage all your transactions with these wallets. You can look, search for Bitcoin Core, Multibit or Hive. Mobile wallets, it's another type of wallets. That wallets, it's for mobile. You can download them at mobile app markets like Android Market or Apple Store. And obviously, you have the same transactions options as with any of the other wallets. With this, you can carry Bitcoins with you in your pocket and pay in physical stores by scanning a QR code or using NFC tap to pay. And you can search by Bitcoin wallet or Hive Android in your mobile 
mobile market. Okay, now that you have a wallet, how do you fill it? That the next step is about collecting your first digital coins, but to do so, you need to know something very, very important the address of your wallet. A Bitcoin address, or simply address, is an identifier of 26 or 34 alpha alphanumeric characters beginning with the number 1 or 3. That represents a possible destination for a Bitcoin payment. Address can be generated at no cost by any user of Bitcoin, and that will be unique. Okay, and now let's see some ways to collect your first coins. You have a lot of choice to get them. Choices like mining, exchange, site visitor or web games. Let's start for the mining. Like a miner digs to find gold, you can use your computing power to solve mathematical algorithms and find bitcoins. But to do so, you need a powerful machine, otherwise your energy costs will be more expensive than the value earned. Remind that. The more computers trying to solve the equations, the harder the equations become to solve, and the less you get for mining. To do this, you can search by a pool, and a pool is a group that combines their computing power to make more bitcoins. At this pool, you can put your computer solving the mathematical algorithms. There are several pools available, like Slush, Bitminter, BTC Guild, and some pools need download softwares where you can start solving the algorithms. If you want mining, look for some of these pools. Next choice, it's exchange. That is the easiest way. Basically, when you check exchange, euros, dollars, or another currency for bitcoins, several companies operate in the market of exchanging bitcoins. If you search for bitcoins exchange, you will find a lot of com companies to do exchange. Okay, another one, site visitor. It's another easy way to collect bitcoins, but you need a little, a little bit of patience. You can find a lot of websites offer lower values of bitcoins. In most of case, Satoshi's, the small part of Bitcoin, and you earn for visiting the, the sites. Uh, yes, it's like, hey man, Visit our site for five minutes and you, you will receive 10 satoshis. Yeah, an example for this is bitvisitor.com. Search for it. At last, you have web games. Some games provide the opportunity to earn extra coins like in a casino. It's so, so simple like this. Okay, at this point you probably have some bitcoins to spend. Now. I will show you the common form that companies use to receive bitcoins and how can you proceed to buy these bitcoins. Currently, several companies and individuals already accept bitcoin as a payment method. Don't forget to choose bitcoin as payment method. Many websites require you to select your payment method from a list before proceeding. Well, now it's time to use your wallet. Let's see how. If you have a web wallet, when display a similar screen to this one, you have to copy the address and the amount in bitcoins. Then you have to open your web wallet and choose the send option, paste address and the correct amount and don't forget, confirm before proceeding, it's important. If you have a desktop wallet, click on option pay with bitcoin and your desktop wallet will open automatically. Then you only need to confirm the amount and pay. If you have a mobile wallet, and the majority of mobile wallets include a QR code reader, you can use it to scan the seller QR code or you can manually introduce the address available in the purchase window and confirm to proceed. Remind, that screens I show, I show you could be a little bit difference on reality. And now, how can you check if your payment was received with success? Once you proceed with payment, pay the amount will be displayed in a weighing window along with a success message. 
Do not be worried if payment take a few minutes. It's normal payments with bitcoins can take a few minutes to complete. This depends on the settings defined by the merchant to consider a transaction complete. Bind tuning. Yes, bind tuning accept bitcoins. And now I will show you how you proceed to pay with bitcoins on bind tuning. Let's see. So I'm going to bindtuning.com. Okay. And uh, I will select the theme and CMS, uh, like uh, select Metro on now customize now and select SharePoint. Okay, we are redirect for our customization tool. Here you have a thousand options to customize theme and get the perfect design for you. You have here more options, background, page read, textile menu. Okay, but let's move on to the payment method. Click download, proceed to purchase. First, let's give a name for theme, metro, proceed to purchase, click by now, and select Bitcoin. Okay, now it's ready. By now for processing and here, here is. Okay, if you have a desktop wallet, click on the button Pay with Bitcoin and your wallet open automatically. If you have a web wallet, copy the address under the button and copy to your web wallet. And if you have a mobile wallet, open your QR code reader and scan it. Okay, it's simple. Now, remind, all transactions in Bitcoin only have 15 minutes to complete. After that time, you have to start over again. If you don't complete the, the payments. Okay. And now, that's it. After this quick and starter tutorial, you are ready to try the Bitcoin's world. For me, it's all. Enjoy. And thanks a lot for watching this webinar. Thanks, people. Okay, so that's a wrap. And here is our contacts. Uh, if you want to go to our website, uh, if you want to contact Tito, here is his email and the, um, his uh, Twitter ID. And you have our social platforms. If you want to see the video, go to our YouTube channel, is Bindskins. Um, and that's it. If you have any questions, please contact us, send uh, an email to Tito, or you can leave us a comment on the event on Google Plus, or leave the comments on the, the on our YouTube channel in under the video. So. That's a wrap, and like Tito said, thank you for watching, and we'll be back. Bye. Bye.